Hey guys, how do you like my hair? From my last video, I cut my hair with a three guard and this is actually a two. I did decide to go down one more. So how do you guys like it? I love it so much better. I just feel like the three was such an awkward length. My hair grows like out. So I had a lot more hair up here and I know I'm gonna get to that stage eventually, but I wanted to enjoy this <laughs> while I can. So anyways, we'll get into the makeup, but I did just wanna say hello and thank you to all my new subscribers, my wig video and and my shaving my head video have gotten so much attention and it's like it's kind of weird that like not weird I mean obviously I'm so appreciative but it's just like crazy to think that like 3,000 or so I haven't even checked it today people have viewed my video and I just appreciate like all my new followers and everything like that you guys have been, have given me so much love you know shaving your head is just such like a crazy experience but I've gotten nothing but positive feedback from it so you know just your words can go a long way let's just keep it at that and I just appreciate all the love that I've gotten enough about that so today I did a spring very colorful look let's just go ahead and get started okay so I went ahead and primed my eyelids already I just used a concealer nothing fancy so I'm gonna go in with this Ace Beauté eyeshadow palette this is their slice of paradise and to me, this is just the perfect spring palette. I mean, the colors are so <laughs> vibrant. Even perfect for like summer, it's just beautiful. For this spring look, I kind of have like a vision. I just want something very like colorful, but I don't want it to be like boom in your face. I kind of want it more like watercolor, pastel-ish. So I'm gonna go really light-handed with these colors and I want them to be blended out. I mean, you guys will see. I'm gonna go in with Daffodil, which is the yellow shade. And I mean, these shadows are super pigmented, but like I said, I want more of like a wash of color and I'm keeping it with a um, blending brush so that way the color comes more like soft and I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye it's seriously already so pigmented and I barely put any Ace Beauté has such a beautiful shadow formula they're so pigmented You can definitely build this up. I don't want to build it up too much, but I do. I still want the color to be there, obviously, but I just don't want it to be like overpowering because this is going to be a very colorful look. Next to blend into that shade, I'm going to go in with <laughs> persimmon. It's the orange shade. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm going to go over the yellow just a little bit but also keep it in the middle. This is just gonna blend them together. You can see it's not a huge difference from the yellow, but it is more orangey. So that's the gradient that I want. I'm gonna tap into Passion Fruit just a little bit. I hope this doesn't mess it up, but I do want it just a little more orangey. Okay, yeah, that's definitely adding more orange. And again, just blending. And I'm going very softly, I'm not applying a lot of pressure. And I'm just depositing the color, but I'm also trying to blend as I do. Because I don't want these colors to be harsh. I want them to be very blended and light. Going for more, the best I can describe is like a watercolor. So just blending as I go. That's why I chose this brush. And it's okay if it goes all the way out here because we're gonna put another color anyway, so that's gonna kind of help it blend. Yeah, that's already looking so pretty and like sunny. So for the outer corner, I definitely want pink and purple. So I'm gonna go in with Flamingo, which is the light pink, just so we can transition into the purple nicely and it's not just like orange purple. Again, these are super pigmented. So yeah, it's just adding a little more depth so we can go into the purple without it being like harsh. And I'm going over the orange just a little bit and also bringing it out. So now I'm gonna go into Starling, which was that light purple that doesn't look that purple on camera. This is definitely looking like a sunset eye. That's why I wanted to do two um, different colors, like two different color patterns on two different eyes. So that way we can add more colors and make it more springy. I don't know guys, I just had a vision, okay? So I'm trying to like rock with it. Going into Honeyberry, which is a dark purple. I dipped lightly. And I'm just gonna keep this on the outer edge. 
but also blending it into where we put that pink. I feel like you can't go wrong with the blending as long as you use these colors. Like in this pattern, you can't make it look muddy. That's why I wanted to use these colors to like transition. Like instead of going from orange to purple, I put that pink in the middle. That's gonna help it blend. I hope that makes sense. Oh yeah, that looks so pretty. Okay, I'm loving this so far. I hope the second eye doesn't mess it up because I do want to do like blues over here. I'm just going into my little color switch here and I'm putting a little bit of translucent powder just because I don't want to put any color on the outer edge. So that's why I'm going in with translucent because I just want the colors to blend on their own. I don't want to add another color up top. I feel like I blended them well enough anyways, but I'm just going to do this extra step just to further blend because like I probably said a million times, who knows, I'll know when I'm editing, but <laughs> I really want this to be like a wash of color. So that way it's not like bam in your face. I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be in your face because it's so colorful, but I really wanted this to be light and springy. Usually I do my other eye off camera, but since I'm doing two different colored eyes, I'm gonna stay on camera and we're gonna work on my other eye. Okay, so for this eye, and I feel like this is gonna be more like a rainbow eye type of vibe, but that's not what I was going for, but it's kind of what it's leaning into, but whatever. I want to go into the greens and the blues since we haven't used those yet, but I want it to be cohesive, so I'm actually gonna go into the yellow first, just like we did on this eye. Making sure that's blended. It's okay if you go all the way over here. It's gonna get covered up anyways, and it's gonna help the shadows blend. So again, I'm gonna go into per persimmon, pers that the orange one, <laughs> the one I can't pronounce. And this is just to add that little bit of depth. And like I said, to kind of keep it cohesive with this eye. Now I'm gonna dip into, I don't know if I wanna dip into the green or the blue. Let's go with green. I'm gonna go into kiwi right here. Shadows are so pretty. So easy to work with too. They can either come off light, like if you wanna do a light look like this, or you can really build them up. Or you, I think I went out of focus there, but I was saying, or use a packing brush and they'll really come out pigmented. I always do this eye higher, I don't know why. I'm gonna go into Bluebell, the light blue shade. And I know this is like a rainbow tropical look that this just turned into, but these are just like the best colors that go together. Yeah, that is so pretty. I don't know if this is just me, but my left eye does not blend. I could sit here and blend for days and I always get like a patchy spot right here. So I definitely like to bring it down. Does anyone else have that problem? Like does one of your eyes just refuse to blend because it's super annoying? I'm gonna go back into that green a little bit. I feel like we lost it with the teal and the blue. My left eye is like never my favorite eye though. Same thing I did with my other eye going into the color switch and I'm gonna use the translucent powder to just blend out the edges. It's just gonna soften it a little bit more. And that's it guys. I really wanted to do this look as well because I wanted to show you guys that you don't need to do crazy cut creases or halo eyes or switch between like 10 brushes. This is the only brush I used and I was able to create this look. Kind of went off my plan. I wanted to do more of like not this but <laughs> it's fine. I still love it. Go ahead and put on lashes and I'll be right back so we can work on my face. I don't know if you can tell but I started curling my eyelashes and I was like why does my look look so incomplete? Like I know I need lashes. I wanted to put a shimmer all over my eye. That was another part of like my vision was putting obviously shimmer. So <laughs> duh, like I can't believe I was ready to just put mascara on. Nothing wrong if you guys wanna leave your look like this, obviously, like, I mean, if you wanna leave the eyelid empty, you can, or just bring the colors down. I didn't because I knew that I was gonna go in with shimmer, but I forgot. But anyways, I'm gonna use the Aurora Lights. This is by BH Cosmetics. Now, I don't know if they still sell this. This is like hella old, but it's so beautiful. I don't want the shimmer to overpower this colorful look because obviously we got a lot going on already. So I wanna focus on the white. 
Now, the only thing with this white shade is it does reflect blue. So I don't know how that's gonna look on this side. Might be okay for this side. So I think for this side, I'm gonna focus on this light pink. I might just mix them around to be honest because these go on pretty sheer unless you get like the darker shades like this. So we're just gonna go with it. Might mix the shades around. I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Yeah, if you guys can see there, it's a little not as pigmented. So I'm gonna take that all over my lid. I really just wanna wash the color with it, these shimmers. I don't want them to overpower my look. And I'm going all over. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now obviously this is a lot for some of you, you know, you're gonna be like, you just ruined the look, I liked it matte. I would have kept it matte as well, but I wanna have fun. I'm just playing around today. I actually like how it looks in person, it's very pretty. I think I ruined it a little bit right here though. And if you mess up, you can just go back over like this. I feel like I lost my pink there, so I'm just go over it and it's back. So I actually really like the shimmer. This made it look a little more washed out, a little more watercolory, <laughs> springy. I don't know. This fit my vision. Sorry if you can hear Zeus just sniffing around. He's trying to find somewhere to lay. He's just gonna have to be a part of my videos always because he finds me, like especially if I don't do voiceovers. And the reason I do voiceover so much, guys, is because I always have a lot of noise. I live in an apartment complex, so there's always noises going on. I have Zeus, he snores, I have my cat, I have my boyfriend playing his games, yelling, you know? So I'm, I don't know, do you guys like voiceovers? I know this is getting a little pulled back from the makeup, but let me know, do you guys like voiceovers or do you prefer, he can't see, so he's running into my plant, but <laughs> what do you guys prefer? Like, do you want a mixture? I try to do these videos when I'm off, but I got a new job, so now I'm gonna only have weekends off and my boyfriend has weekends off, so I don't really know how these talking videos are gonna go. Let me know what you guys prefer. For now, I'm gonna do my mascara and lashes. So I'll be right back and we'll get onto my face. You okay, Zeus? I don't do anything fancy. Just always, always have SPF on my face. I don't typically do this, but I just feel like playing around with my makeup today. So I have this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminate Illuminating Face Oil. I'm just gonna use this. Um, I don't think it's a primer, it's just literally a face oil. I got it out of a BoxyCharm like forever ago, and I definitely used it when I first got it, and I haven't used it since, so why not? We're just gonna add some extra illuminating and moisture to my face, so. I'm trying to go dewy. I wanna look sweaty, but make it cute, basically. Okay, that added like a nice little glow. I wouldn't say it's anything like crazy. I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm shining away. For a primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I love this and I love the scent even more. It smells like, I mean, it smells like artificial watermelon, but it smells so good. So I typically put my primer on my forehead, my temples, especially if it's a pore filling. I have a lot of acne scars around my temple, so I put pore filling primers around there. Kinda helps a little bit. And I just beat my face. Even more glow, that dewiness that I'm going for, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX. This is a custom enhancer drop in Moonlight. Basically like a liquid highlight, I believe. I just have like the little sample one. So I'm basically just doing a highlight, but underneath my makeup probably way too much I don't even know how pigmented this is and it's definitely not my shade like it's way too dark for me that's why I like never use this on top of my makeup but it will be perfect for under I look crazy for foundation I want to go in with my usual combo if you've seen my other videos this is like my everyday combo I use the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation this is in 010 beige it's not exactly my color and I mix it with the KVD lock it foundation this is light 44 cool so both of these together why I do this is it really does give you like that second skin effect it's a dewy nice 
Mm, it mattifies. I wouldn't say it's too dewy and I wouldn't say it's matte either. Like literally what it says, it's a second skin effect. And the KVD is just a super full coverage foundation. I used to use this all the time, but I think it's just gotten too heavy for my skin now as I'm aging. So these together just gives me that perfect coverage and like the skin dewiness effect <laughs> that I want. These aren't exactly my shade, so I do go in with the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is just in their white. They do have other colors, so you can really like custom make your foundation, but these three together is just like my holy grail, so I'm gonna go in with that today. This comes in a dropper, so I just take about a drop. I mean, that's probably too much already. And then I just take, God, I just take a little bit of the KVD, not much because it is super pigmented and then take a decent amount of the white just because these aren't my shades now i usually use i've been really loving the shein brush that i got i know when i reviewed it i said i didn't really like it that much but i've been obsessed ever since but can i find it for this video of course i can't so i'm just going to use this luxie round top blender I typically am a beauty sponge girl, but I've kind of been going towards brushes just to lay down the foundation to give me that extra coverage. And then I go in with a sponge to further blend and so it doesn't look so harsh. I typically avoid under my eyes and my nose just so it doesn't get too cakey because we're going to put concealer there anyways. So if you were wondering why I'm completely avoiding that area. And I like to save it for last because you don't want to put your foundation right in the middle to begin with. That's why I kind of start here where my cheeks are um, needing the most pigment anyways. So now that I have some left over, I'm just going over my nose very lightly because like I said, I'm going to go over that with concealer. I'm just going to go in with a second layer since I do need a little bit more coverage. And I'm going to be doing this on the sponge just so it's not as harsh and to uh, further blend it. Going in with concealer, so this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is in C3, also not my shade. I really need new concealers because none of them are in my shade. So I'm gonna have to do like a little mixing action. It may look my shade on camera, but it's very uh, pink and nothing wrong with pink because I typically am more cool toned but it's just it's just not my shade okay just trust me <laughs> going in with the she glam this is in whipped cream I think this is yeah this is their 12 hour full coverage concealer and this is just way too light for me so this is why I can mix it and it's very yellow which I typically tend not to be the sponge to blend it out okay look at that difference now we're looking awake I have been so tired lately I don't even know I think I'm still me and my boyfriend were just talking about this yesterday but we feel like we're still not used to the time change does anyone else feel like that because I swear I look at the time and it's like 10 o'clock and I could have sworn it was like seven like I know that's a three hour difference and not one but gosh like time is just flying by especially when I get off work it's crazy my coverage is built up to how I like it I want to go into a cream contour so I'm actually gonna go in with a foundation this is the she glam complexion pro long-lasting breathable matte foundation and I use the shade mocha this is extremely pigmented obviously not my shade and I don't know what that is and a very dark shade for contour so I have to go really light with this and I always tend to use too much, so I'm gonna try not to. Wish me luck, like the littlest pump, and that's probably still too much to get started at least. So I'm gonna spread it, try to spread it around. Just using this brush, a uh, Lexi 1010 Small Contour. A little bit more. So I tried to like slowly build this up because I'm telling you, once you go too much, it's too much. Nose contour is done. So we're gonna move on to blush. This is also by She Glam. I'm gonna use the shade Orgasm. 
great name. And this is a light pink. This is one of the other shades that I said I was gonna purchase in my um, She Glam video. I had the other shade Torrid. And yeah, so I purchased this one and then the orangey one. So this is obviously just a light pink. I think it will go great with this look. Nice and springy and fresh. So a little bit more. I really love this formula. Now it says it's supposed to be illuminating. So I mean that's great for the look that I'm going for today. I don't think it says it on here. Clear and bright. I saw in a review that it had sparkles in it and I was like I didn't see any sparkles. So I don't know. It's not highlighty. I mean it gives you nice like a nice glow but I would say that it dries to a matte. I don't know. Weird. But yeah, just a super soft pink. So pretty. I'm just gonna blend out my forehead a little bit. I forgot to do that. My contour is looking a little harsh. I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter. This is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. It's like an indie brand. This is their Snowflake um, highlighter, loose highlight powder. Now this was from their Christmas collection, so I don't believe that they have this still, but they're formula for highlights is amazing. I also have their Christmas palette. I think they do that every year now. Their shimmers are incredible. Definitely check them out. So this highlighter, you definitely have to be super careful with it because it is so pigmented. I'm just gonna do like a little... Do you guys see that? I mean, probably not because my camera is out of focus yet again, but that was just like a simple dip. Be super careful with it. And I like to just pat it. This is the highlight that I wear in pretty much every video. So if you've been wondering, like besides my makeup videos, like my shaving my head, um, the wig video, if you're ever wondering what highlight I'm wearing, it's this one. Like, do you guys see that? Now it's a little extreme, I get it, it looks very stripey, but I'm gonna fix that. But if you are pale like I am, this is just the perfect white. This is from their holiday collection, so I don't believe that they have this anymore, but I know that they have loose highlighters, so I'm sure they have other shades. Like, I just can't get over it. Since I do have like this stripiness going on and that's just not a look for me, I don't personally like that look, I'm going to actually go in with this collab blush. This is in the shade just for fun, it's just like a light pink. I'm just gonna go over, just so my highlight isn't so like bam, stripey. And it's also giving me some pink back to my cheeks. Now I'm not gonna say that 100% cured it, like I still have that stripiness, but I mean this highlight is just so pigmented to begin with that there's like no way to cover it, but I think it looks a thousand times better, especially in person. On camera, it's very hard to capture like what my makeup looks like. Okay, hi. So my eyebrows are on obviously, and I just put some powder on to help, I don't know, my contour pop, uh, whatever. I'm gonna finish my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go into the green Kiwi. It's right under. So I'm using a dense brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into Starling, which is that light purple. Now to make my eyes pop a little bit more as if they need it, I'm gonna do a white eyeliner and I'm gonna just go ahead and do my bottom lashes off camera as well. And I'll be back so we can do the lips. So my eyes are officially done. If you're thinking they look a little bit different, it's because I added eyeliner into my inner corner right here. My lashes just keep sticking up in the corners and they were just not blending at all. I don't know if you noticed it throughout the video, but it is driving me crazy. I mean, they're still not lined up to my natural lash line. Like they're sticking up a little bit, if that makes sense. So to hide that, I just put eyeliner in the inner corners. That's definitely a little trick. Um, I mean, not the biggest deal. These just aren't my favorite lashes. No one's gonna be this close to my face, except for my boyfriend, but so. Oh, hell no, there's a fly in here. I don't know if you guys heard that buzzing. Mm -mm. Anyways, that's what I changed and also added that white liner and mascara. It just makes like the biggest difference. And now we're gonna go on to lips and I have no idea what I wanna do. 
I always go straight to nude. I mean, obviously with a colorful eye look like this, I don't want anything crazy on the lips. We're just gonna have to do like a trial and error, I guess. So I'm gonna go in with Bodyography Pouty Lip Pencil. Got this in a boxy charm as well. It's just a wooden pencil, nothing fancy about it. So I really like this She Glam liquid lipstick. I believe this is in the shade Naked. And it's just a super light. So since we have something so colorful, I'm just gonna pat this along my lips. Perfecto. I could go a little bit more nude. I feel like it is pretty pinky, but it is what it is. I think it looks pretty nice. And then I'm just gonna clean up with the sponge. Oh my god, are we done? I'm not gonna do a setting spray just yet. I just wanna like, wanna re-wet my face, I guess you can say. So I actually got these from Dollar Tree. I have two of them. This one, the mister is really bad, so I typically don't use this one. Um, this is watermelon and aloe, and this is cucumber and aloe. This one smells so good, so I'm just gonna stick with this one since it has a good spray, and it smells so good. It does smell a little perfumey, so if smells like that bother you. Oh, and I got my fan back. I finally got a fan. Oh, this is also from Dollar Tree. Got a black and gold one. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys were here for my last one, but it was like falling apart. That gave me like a nice extra glow. I'm spraying more because it just feels so good. I kind of want to do freckles but I'm not good at faux freckles, so I don't wanna mess this up. Let me go ahead and change and I'll be right back and we may or may not add faux freckles. This is the final look. How do you guys like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I love all your guys' feedback. I don't care if it's negative or positive. Let me know what you think truly, like what I could change with my setup, with my makeup, anything. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.